I chose Flip. And the reason is because it fit better into economics than mastery would, in my opinion. So it was based on subject level. I, I also went Flip first. And it because I was I was really working on a culture in my school of changing that and it I I felt that it was gonna be a lot better to kind of go gradually and potty train my kids and <laughs> parents and things like that on that how to do this. All of the teachers wanted to master it. They all understand that it's about learning and that it's not about penalizing students for not learning in the amount of time that was prescribed. Well, yeah, I'm a bad example. I did both, um, you know, in the, in the same year. Uh, if I had to go back and, and pick a different way to do it, um, I, would, I would probably go with that and say that mastery and me was the more important component of it, but I don't know uh, how I would have done it without flipping. When I started doing this, my wife and I, we had three kids under the age of five. I coached cross country basketball and track. Um, I was very sleep deprived. And, and things like that. And so just, you do have a life outside of school. You are, you are a person as well as a teacher. And I can tell that we have amazing teachers in this group, but at the same time, don't let that affect your life outside. So that, for me personally, that was a big influence on just how much I was able to jump in. Granted, I said mastery first. Flipping makes that easier, but I would not, I would not encourage you to go all in. Many of us were ridiculously um, sleep deprived uh, as we did this. So baby steps are everything. What I thought is like, okay, anything that I do where I used to get up in front of the class and not really expect much student interaction, I'm going to put on a podcast and do that as a well. point. The first year we did mastery, we kept everybody on the same page for the first unit. And then after that, we broke them up. And like the kids who passed moved on, the kids who didn't didn't. And then it kind of became asynchronous. And after that, we spent a month, you know, everybody did the same thing on the same day. And then the kids were confused. What do you, what do you mean? It's, what are we doing? This is different. How is it? So then we just said, okay, we're just day one out of the door. This is how we do it. And that seems to have worked better for us. I think if you started out small first, the better for me, like going into it, like it takes focus because you're sitting on the so like if you started out small first, like you'll make your whole class flips and then they'll get used to it and like know what they have to expect, that'll be easier.